Virtual unwrapping begins by acquiring a three-dimensional, volumetric scan of the damaged manuscript. This scan produces a set of cross-sectional images that show the internal structure of the scroll. When viewed as a 3D object, one can clearly see the individual layers of the scroll, but any text on the surface of those layers is obscured from view. In order for a readable version of the scroll to be produced, these images must be passed through our virtual unwrapping pipeline. First, we capture the 3D shape of the layers of the scroll in a process called segmentation. On the left side of the screen, the software moves through the scroll, image by image, tracing the shape of a single scroll wrap. On the right, we see the 3D model that this produces. Next, we extract the ink from the data in a process called texturing. Using the 3D shape generated by segmentation, our software makes another pass through the scroll, this time looking for very bright pixels. Bright pixels indicate regions of dense material, in this case, inks made with iron or lead. We now have a single wrap of the scroll with the text shown clearly on its surface. However, because the surface is curved, it's difficult to read all of the text from one viewpoint. The flattening stage of our pipeline converts this textured 3D surface into a flat plane so that the text can be more easily read. To produce the best results, these three steps must be performed on one small section of the scroll at a time. As a result, we end up with several texture images that must be merged together. This merging process creates a single consolidated image that shows the full text. Using this pipeline, we have restored and revealed the text of five complete wraps of the En Gedi scroll. The two distinct columns of Hebrew writing reveal the scroll to be the Book of Leviticus. This marks the En Gedi scroll as the earliest copy of a Pentateuchal book ever found in a holy ark, a significant discovery in biblical archaeology.